Hi guys, my name is Ksenia. Welcome to my channel St. Petersburg Me. In my last video, I compared prices for apartments in Russia versus America. And if you haven't watched this video, use this link. And today, uh, let's do the comparison of food prices in both countries. So how will we do that? Okay, I made a list of 21 groceries. Let's call this list a basic food basket and I will shop them at a local big grocery store in my area. Um, it takes me approximately 20 minutes on foot to get there. So, and I sent this list to my friend who lives in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I asked him to uh, shop this list as well. So, then I will um, see how many basic food baskets uh, an average Russian versus an, an average American can afford for a median salary. And guys, I would like to emphasize that I'm doing this comparison St. Petersburg versus Charlotte, not because I think that these cities have equal standards of living, but because I have only one friend in the USA and he lives in Charlotte and he agreed to help me with this video. You'll be able to see the weight of the items both in metric and imperial measurement systems and I will give you American and Russian prices for the items. My friend was shopping at Harris Teeter store and if you live in Charlotte, North Carolina, you can go um, to this store yourself and check the prices. So guys, I'll be shopping here. This uh, store is called Carousel in Russian. And let's see what we can buy and what we will buy. So guys, we will um, choose the, the groceries that are um, sold for average price. Are not the cheapest, not the uh, most expensive, but the um the average okay so there are different kinds of macaronis and we need to buy macaroni so 71 72 rubles 59 so okay this one's 40 almost 40 for rubles then I need some rice rice and crops are here okay rice where is rice where is rice okay rice is somewhere here so you can see like this price this price so I think that is the cheapest here and we will go with this one almost 92 rubles like the average and then we need some beans so uh, this is not the very um, cheap store because it's a supermarket then I need flour flour is not here so I wanted to buy only half a kilo of flour oh here it is it's rye flour it's like f half a kilo and it costs 54 rubles 200 grams of cheese mm -hmm. so i think i'll go with this and uh, we need to buy milk as well and oh my god 
so okay i don't know why guys i really don't know why guys i really don't know why some shelves of this store are almost empty i think maybe it was because i went shopping kind of late it was 10 p.m on sunday but you know this store works 24 7 and even with the fact that i came late i'm still a customer and i want to see a decent choice and not shelves that are half empty so i had to go to another store to show you the prices for three items cucumbers chicken and milk and this store is called perikryostak and it is also a local store which is situated in my area uh, it uh, it is situated much closer than this um, carousel store uh, but uh, this is not a very big store i asked my colleague if they have the same shortage of food in the areas where they live uh, but they said that um, everything was okay and they uh, don't have uh, empty shelves at their stores so guys i really don't know what happened in my area and why some shelves are empty in in some shops so there are a lot more kinds of milk here and we need uh, 900 milliliters so okay So here it is almost 84 rubles. Mm -hmm. So cucumbers that are sold piece by piece cost 75 ruble 90 kopecks. I'll take two. And you know guys I was uh, watching for another Russian youtuber video with uh, a grocery store and he said that um, all the vegetables and fruit are GMO but I don't think so because you know um, my work uh, my office where I work uh, we work uh, with um, uh, greenhouses and uh, one of the greenhouses in uh, St. Petersburg, in the suburbs of St. Petersburg, you know, bought a Dutch technology for growing vegetables and they didn't modify it um, when they uh, implemented it here in St. Petersburg. So the technology is a seed of cucumbers or, uh, I don't know, like tomatoes. Uh, is planted in a sponge and nutrient is fitted uh, to this um, sponge and the plant grows so this is a Dutch technology and I, I don't know if it's GMO or not but you know if people want to eat cucumbers in winter you have no choice in Russia actually because um, our soil is uh, covered with snow and you don't have any other choice to feed people with cucumbers salad and tomatoes and other uh, vegetables if that G uh, gmo uh, so that makes that uh, the dutch people also eat gmo vegetables and pretty much uh, the whole world eats Mm, GMO vegetables so I don't know <laughs> but uh, I know about such technology apples and tangerines this one Fuji this is 100 and almost 20 rubles so okay it's more than half a kilo That says 79 
99 almost 80 rubles okay let's just take another long lasting bag and guys i bought so few apples and tangerines not because i don't have money for it but because i don't want to carry those heavy bags of food uh, for 20 minutes back home all by myself carrots and cabbage so carrots are um, almost 50 rubles and I need some cabbage so the cabbage is 14.79 and we are weighing it um, the number is 159 It's three kilos. <laughs> oh my god. Prices are like here, here, and here. This is for this. Chicken. Okay, chicken is here. We need thighs. We need thighs half a kilo of thighs but the situation with meat and chicken here is not as well good <laughs> so here you can get yourself a, a, a chicken thigh for 180 rubles for a kilogram and guys, I will just uh, give you the prices from another store. It called it is called Pitorochka, and it is uh, this um, store is located like <laughs> literally on every street. So the prices are the most cheapest, the most cheapest. No, the cheapest prices. So we need eggs as well oh i like this ones this one's 75 it's called volska okay we need butter we need butter all right i prefer butter from belarus so the prices are this this so okay i will go with this one I like rye bread guys so I will go with rye bread we will take this for almost uh, 50 rubles and cookies are pechenia in Russian here are different kinds of cookies and oh and again the cheapest is gone it's not the cheapest and it's not the most the the most expensive so i'll take this so ground coffee uh, actually i like this one this coffee but the cost is like uh, i bought it maybe for 280 rubles in april and now it's 464 and I like my coffee mild oh guys this is ground coffee American style and it costs not so super expensive so I will take this 200 uh, grams of ground coffee 288 rubles ground coffee American style okay so we only have to buy fish and some packs of spices because oh you see you can see only the eyes they mm, they took away the fish because uh, it's evening I suppose no fish only some mm, pre-cooked fish here is frozen fish 
so I think I will go with Hiek. Hiek here. 800 grams for 240 rubles. Okay. I don't like shopping in such big malls. You know, I get tired. We took chicken and fish and I will take spices for chicken and fish so we buy spices mainly in like packs like I don't know what to call it in English sometimes they go like this some jars so fish 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 mix and and chicken mix all right and we are done so the basic food basket in st petersburg costs 26 dollars and the same basket of food in charlotte the usa costs 44 dollars and now let's do the counting. Unfortunately, I didn't find the data on median salary in St. Petersburg in 2020. And it seems like a month is not enough for our statistics agency to do the counting. So guys, I'm doing the counting myself. Okay, I found the information that uh, median salary in St. Petersburg increased by 3.5% in, in 2020 versus 2019. But I wonder if they managed to count the inflation rate. Was it like 10, 15 or 20%? Who knows? In my last video, I specified that uh, the median salary in St. Petersburg in 2019 was $472. So we um, add 3.5% and get $488 in 2020. And guys, that is the rough calculation. I warn you, a rough calculation. Beware. And I found the information on median salary in Charlotte, North Carolina, and that was $53,274 per year, and that makes $4,439 per month. So with the median salary of $488 in St. Petersburg, uh, people could afford 18 baskets of um, basic food in Russia in St. Petersburg and people in Charlotte with the median salary uh, of $4,439 could afford 100 baskets of uh, basic food. Of course, if you are short in money in Russia, you can choose a cheaper store like Pitorochka. This store is literally situated on every street in St. Petersburg specifically. This store is literally situated on every street and even if you have a lot of money but you don't want to spend time for shopping, you can go to Pitorochka and um, buy your food there. And now let's see the prices in this um, cheap store. Okay, rye bread in Pitorochka costs pasta, flour, rice, beans, tomatoes, cucumbers, cabbage and carrots, apples and tangerines, chicken thigh and fish, milk and butter, ground coffee and eggs, cheese and cookies, chicken mix pack, fish mix pack. So the cost of a basic food basket in Pitorochka, a very cheap store, is $22, which makes Pitorochka 
not so very cheap so guys that's all for uh, food prices in russia versus america my channel will soon reach 5000 viewers and it is absolutely incredible for me and i would like to say thank you for subscriptions for your views for your comments thank you so much uh, i didn't expect that and when we hit that number i will have a giveaway with some presents for you guys so we are patiently waiting for that number so guys this is all for today and i hope this video was useful to you and see you in the next one bye guys